Hello, Sterling. I'm looking forward to trying the Clubhouse supplements when they arrive. To ask my question, I must give you some context. I'm 53 years old and I've been married for 23 years with no children. About one year ago, I decided to change my situation as I was not happy with my married life. My current situation is one where I am still married but have rented my own place where I stay when I'm not at the office and one to two nights a week. My wife, she's retired, lives in the family home and I am there regularly as I have my gym there, a pool, a sauna, as well as my home office. I am not sure how long this situation will last, but my aim is to meet other women. My question is, what strategy should I pursue in this regard? I talk to people everywhere, but I, everywhere I go, but I have not had success in getting dates. I am working on the weak points in my uh, appearance. I am slightly overweight. I also recognize my self-limiting beliefs in meeting women, and I am working on them by controlling my anxiety in this regard. But I feel I need a particular strategy in terms of meeting women. Where, when, how. Thank you for your help. So basically, you're looking to cheat on your wife. Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting question. Uh, I'm, I'd be curious. Like, does she know about this? Like, is she is she giving you like I don't know? I'm just I'm just genuinely curious if she's like giving you uh, like a free pass or a whole pass or whatever to go out and pursue this, or if it's just something you sort of take on yourself. Um, so either way, I'm going to answer your question. But uh, well, one it depends what how big is your town? Like, do you, like because if your town is. Uh, if it's a very small town, you don't want to get caught fucking around. That's that's the first thing. Uh, if you're in a big city, far less far less chance of that happening. Um, if you're wearing your wedding ring whilst walking up to women and asking them out on dates, that might be causing a bit of uh, negative reactions, possibly. But then, but then again, the other women actually will attract them. Uh, again, man, I don't even know. I don't really know what your life is like, or what you, like what your daily, week, your weekly schedule consists of, right? So it's a bit hard for me to sort of come up with an exact strategy for you because I don't even know much about like your, your I don't know much about your logistical situation, right? Because Daniel, let me just give you some, try to give you some generic advice anyway. Like logistics are the, the key to pulling off a like, well, let's say, let's say sealing the deal with um, when you do get a date with a woman. Having good logistics is the key to that, and you have figured that out already by having that separate place. So that is a, that is a, a big win already. So you're kind of already setting yourself up to succeed at least. Now, yeah, having I'm I'm obviously not in your age bracket, so it's a bit harder for me to kind of uh, hypothesize as to how I would go about attracting women and getting dates at that at that at that stage of my life. You are doing the right thing though in taking care of your physique and getting that back in shape because it's actually way more here's the thing when an, when an older man is jacked and in shape it's way more impressive than when a younger guy is in shape like it says a lot about a man if he's older and he's ripped and he's like really in shape that is that screams like attractive to women of all fucking ages they notice it like immediately like god damn so Again, if you if you end up getting like obviously you said you're working on your fitness and stuff, but if you get to the point where you end up being like ripped and jacked, head to the beach. Like, <laughs> go to the beaches, go to pool clubs, or go to go to uh, like communal pools and things like that, because you'll, that shit will like uh, you'll, you'll you'll probably notice you'll get a lot more open invitations from uh, from women in that regard. I guess uh, I'm gonna assume you're gonna you're trying to go after women who are a bit older. Let's say, let's say, actually, let's say, yeah, this is actually probably a good, good bit of advice for you. Going after women who are in their like mid thirties and stuff, or more in their forties, dancing classes are a fantastic place to pick up women in in that kind of age range, like salsa classes, swing dance lessons, uh, what's the Argentinian one, tango lessons, these kind of things. It's particularly salsa for some reason. Uh, women flock to these classes in their like mid 30s when they're single they flock to these things to try and meet men and if you can learn and and it's another fun skill for you to pick up and enjoy it's actually very fun i used to do it myself but when you uh if you can develop the skill get good at it and then be that old child older charming gentleman who's roaming the salsa floor dancing with every young girl in the room and then when it cut, then then you turn around and, and start dancing with the girl in her mid thirties. That's attraction material, man. Like she's gonna she's gonna be into you pretty quickly. So yeah, again, without without heaps of context about like your exact like where you are, what city you're in, like what like uh, 
how big the city is, what's around you, what you can even, what's even available for you. Those would be my, my first bits of uh, advice for you to get stuck into.